Hi, this is Mrs Sykes and this video is a focus on red blood cells. Red blood cells are an example of a specialised animal cell. So we're going to have a look at how its structure is related to its function. And that's usually how these sorts of exam questions are phrased. Describe how the red blood cells structure is related to its function. So first off, we need to be sorting out which things are structure, which things are function. So function is the posh word for job. So what is the job of a red blood cell? So its function is really straightforward. It carries oxygen. It picks up oxygen in the lungs and it delivers it to all of the cells and tissues of the body. That is its job. That is its function. So when you ask this kind of question, you're supposed to be saying, it's like this because it helps it to carry oxygen better. It's like this because it can carry more oxygen. It's not like this because that would stop it carrying oxygen or stop it from carrying as much oxygen, relating one back to the other. In terms of its structure, we'll have a look at its basic shape. So this is the basic shape of a red blood cell. It's round and it goes in on both sides. So it's very, very thin in the middle and quite fat around the outside. One, two times it goes in. So it's called a biconcave disc. And that is a ridiculously complicated way of saying it's the same kind of shape as a ham bagel. It goes in in the middle and then it doesn't go the entire way through. So it's not a tunnel, it's almost a tunnel. It's very thin in the middle and fatter on the outside. Now this gives it a very large surface area. Because it has a very large surface area, it's very easy for oxygen to diffuse in and out. So that's one of the reasons why this is really helpful. And that relates back to carrying oxygen. It also allows it to be very bendy. So the red blood cells can squeeze through the capillaries, the tiniest of our blood vessels, so that it can deliver oxygen to places it wouldn't otherwise be able to reach. If your red blood cell was a sphere, so it didn't go in the middle, it wasn't this biconcave disc shape, it would get stuck. But because it's a biconcave disc, it kind of folds up a little bit so it can squeeze through teeny tiny little gaps. Now its other special thing that it has is a chemical called haemoglobin. Haemoglobin is actually the bit that makes it red. And I'm going to represent this in my next little model by one of these little red things. If I had a normal cell, not a red blood cell, I would have vaguely circular shape with a nucleus in the middle and I could fill it with some haemoglobin. Lovely! Filling it up, filling it up with my haemoglobin. Great, okay. But quite a lot of the size of the, sh of the cell is taken up by the nucleus. If I wanted to carry as much oxygen as possible, logic would dictate that if I took out the nucleus, there'd be more space. And they'd fit in extra haemoglobin. The more haemoglobin there is, the more oxygen we can carry, because the haemoglobin is the bit that actually holds on to the oxygen. And this is another structural adaptation of the red blood cell. That nucleus was removed as part of its maturation process. When it was growing up to be a fully fledged red blood cell, the nucleus is taken out. And by having no nucleus, it can fit extra haemoglobin. And by having extra haemoglobin, it can carry extra oxygen. Now, you may remember that when we had a look at prokaryotes and eukaryotic cells, we said any cell without a nucleus is a prokaryotic cell. Hmm, this one doesn't have a nucleus. But because it had one, and it was taken away, it still counted as a eukaryotic cell, a true cell with a nucleus, because it did have one. So the biconcave disc gives it a large surface area, so it's easy to get oxygen in and out. 
The biconcave disc also makes it flexible so it can squeeze in and out of the teeny tiny capillaries and therefore send oxygen all the way around the body to all of the cells and tissues. Haemoglobin is the chemical inside the red blood cell and there are thousands of pieces of haemoglobin inside every red blood cell. Haemoglobin is the bit that actually grabs hold of the oxygen to carry it round. And the fact that we've removed the nucleus means that even more haemoglobin can fit, so it can carry even more oxygen.